Oh, you Wolfpack. How we doing? Uh, happy Wednesday night. We'll go a little Thursday wad talk here. This will be a short one just because it's uh, a little cyclical conditioning. So Thursdays are great days in my opinion because if you're feeling good, you can attack it and get a lot out of the uh, training session. If you're feeling beat up, you can still get a lot um, out of it, treating it more like a, a little bit of a recovery day. So we'll kind of go over both ways to achieve this. So you got five sets with a partner, one working, one resting, um, six minutes on, and look at me. What a gentleman. I added a rest uh, for this week. Last week's uh, workout was extremely aggressive without any rest, so I decided I'll put a little rest in so you guys can keep some intensity, get a little bit more out of it, and not um, not die so quickly. Last work, last week's workout was, was pretty brutal. So um, six on, one off. Gonna buy in every round with a 1K row. Uh, be a male male partner. If you're a uh, female female, it's gonna be 920, I believe. Um, I can update the Wattify and the website. But we essentially want to get this done, obviously as fast as possible, because your score for the workout is gonna be your max calories on the assault bike. So, time frame perspective for the first few rounds, at least three rounds. I'd say this 1K row needs to be as close to four minutes as possible, if not a little bit less. So you are working with your partner. Um, you should be able to attack at a little bit faster pace than normal. I think uh, for a 1K split for a partnership, 250 meters is pretty appropriate. Um, it's going to be 40 to 45 seconds of rowing. Um, if you're moving at a pretty, pretty quick pace, maybe a little bit longer. But that's going to get you done sub four minutes, and it's going to give you at least two minutes. Um on the assault bike to spin for calories, okay? Um, if it's taking us longer than four minutes from that first set, I would just cut yourself off at four minutes. So even if you don't hit the 1K row, get as, as many meters as you can in four minutes and then move on to the bike. That way you guys actually have an opportunity to switch a couple times on the bike here um, at about a 30 second split. So I, I think 30 seconds on a bike. After a row is plenty, you can usually ramp it up pretty good for 10 seconds, kind of hold as much as you can, and then as we get fatigued, it seems to slow down um, around the 30-second 30 30 mark or so. That would be my recommendation, um, splitting it into four sets on the rower and then hopefully having around four sets on the assault bike. That's going to give you the most time um, and save the most energy to get uh, many cows on the bike. Okay, If you are looking for a recovery day, even if you come in and do it solo, I would still just cap yourself at four. So even if you have a partner, you guys are just like trying to cruise and recover a little bit, um, flush the body. I would do a minute row each. So minute, 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 minute for four minutes and then move on to the assault bike. And you could even do a minute of assault bike just at a, a light to moderate pace and then switch. That way you're not digging too deep into any kind of um, fatigue or, or, or muscular endurance. You're kind of using it just as a recovery. Okay, um, if you're doing it solo, you could even go minute on, minute off, minute on, minute off, and then I would bike for two minutes at the end at a slow pace and just work on like recovery breathing, try to flush some of that gunk out of your system. Um, I like the assault bike a lot, so I would spend more time on that um, and maybe split up the row. Or you could just go a four-minute cruise on the rower and a two-minute cruise on the bike. So um, a lot of work to be done here, a uh, good opportunity to push yourself on the row pace and then see what kind of RPMs you can get to on the bike. However, it is five sets, so you got to take that into uh into play when you're pacing because you don't want to burn out by set three and then lose the intensity on four and five so um, pick a pace you know you can hold on the row every round it's gonna slow down try to pick a pace that you want to hold on the bike it's gonna slow down um, so as long as we're maintaining good rpms should be good to go and get a lot out of this workout so i hope you guys have a great workout thursdays are my favorite enjoy it push yourself and we'll see you in the gym peace out wolf pack